flowers need a delicate balance of sunlight, water, and heat. But too much of any one of those ingredients can cause problems for the entire UPIC season. From above the fields, Drone 22 captures the variety of colors in the flowers at Field to Vase UPIC in New Carlisle. The parking lot and entrance drying now, but it was a different scene over the weekend. We got five inches of rain in just a few hours. Uh, we had a big event planned for the day and it did not go as planned. Melissa Ripley and her husband made the decision to not open on Saturday due to the flooding. It took the whole day for the water to come down and it was not until Sunday morning when the gates reopened. The water was all the way up to our pavilion. We knew there was no way that cars could get in, and we also had vendors planned that day too, and there was no way we could do tents and people walking. It would have been a muddy mess. Walking through the flower fields now, there is very little visible damage other than some flattened marigold plants that are still good for picking. Since this weekend's rain, Field of Ace has been able to dry out which is exactly what the flowers need. So we do need a, you know, a warm period in between because if we have too much rain, then there's damage and, and it could also lead to powdery mildew. So we don't want that either. The heat can also cause some flowers like this purple basil plant to become droopy. But Ripley says just take it home and give it some air conditioning and it will be good as new. Other flowers can be picked and then left out to dry, eventually being used in fall decor arrangements. Despite a few hiccups at the start of the busiest time of the year, this UPIC flower farm still has plenty to offer patrons. An average bouquet here costs around $10. You can pick 20 stems for $10, and I think that everybody needs flowers right now. Just like the flowers here, crowds are expected to grow pretty large the rest of the season. If you're interested in visiting and picking flowers of your own, we'll have details in this story on our website, WSBT.com. Reporting in St. Joseph County, I'm meteorologist Lynette Grant, WSBT 22 News.